Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. In one of my previous videos, I opened up my gearbox on my bush hog and milky oil flowed out, which means that there's been some condensation in the gearbox. And that's a problem. Uh, that is fairly normal. Uh, when I worked in the dealership world and we trade for these, a lot of times we'd open them up and there'd, there'd actually be more fluid in there than should be and it would drain out. And, uh, and you'd see it be milky. And the reason for that, if you, uh, if you read your owner's manual on your tractor, a lot of times in the winter when you're trying to avoid uh, condensation in your fuel tank, they'll tell you to fill it all the way up and then put your fuel treatment in. And so a, a big filled fuel uh, container or a big canister of whatever that's full has less chance of accruing moisture than one that's half empty. And of course these gearboxes, a lot of them, you fill them a half full and, and that's, that's all, and so there's a big open area up there to uh, secrete moisture from the air. And I live in southwest Missouri where it's fairly humid, and so uh, we get a lot of uh, uh, this situation. So today we're going to change the oil. I'd probably be okay with it, but I'm going to get it out of there. I'm going to give you a couple of tips on, on what to expect and how to do this. And the first tip I'm going to give you today, if you're like me, I can remember all five verses of the FFA Creed, which was written by E.M. Tiffany and adopted at the Third National Convention of the FFA. But when it comes to working on my equipment, I never can remember what wrenches I need and how much oil goes in there and stuff like that. So I take a paint pencil, which you can get in an art supply store or Walmart, and write on the top of the gearbox what oil goes in there, how much goes in there, all right, what, what wrenches I need to open it up, and then when I'm done, I'm going to write on the top uh, when I change the oil last, just so I'll have a record of that there. Now that'll rub off over time, but you'll still be able to see it for a few years now. But uh, get, get you a paint pencil at Walmart, and I've, I've got my service manager's mobile number written on the tractor. I've got when I last changed my oil on the tractor, all that stuff written. And uh, now if you're the kind of person that waxes your, your bush hog, you may not want to do this, but that's not me. So I write stuff on my tractor so I know what to use. So the tools I'll need today are this thing, a suction device. On some of the newer bush hogs, brush hogs, whatever you want to call them, and the one I noticed this on was a Rhino brand. They have a plug down at the bottom that you can take out and drain the oil out the bottom, which is really nice. It's a little dangerous because if that plug comes out, uh, losing the oil in the gearbox is what causes most of the failures on these things, and they're expensive. And so, um, but, but with this one, we got to suck it out from the top, and that's the way most of the gearboxes I see are, maybe some of the newer machines have got the drain plug at the bottom. But uh, we're going we're gonna to suck it out with this suction device, and uh, of course we need, we need something to put the oil in. I've got a waste oil container here that I use uh, and take your waste oil to your dealership or to O'Reilly to get it recycled, don't dump it in the ground. Uh, this particular uh, gearbox holds two quarts of the uh, 8090 gear oil and I've got two different brands here, I don't know that matters, uh, it's not going to matter to me. I had one uh, that was sitting on the workbench and then I had to go buy another one. and. Uh, you need a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, an Allen wrench to get the plug off the side, and this one takes a 5 16 Allen wrench. And if you watch my last video, I struggled with the, all the, you know, the old standard Allen wrenches. This is one that's got a, a socket on it. Couldn't find it to do the video. Well, I found it between then and now. And then uh, a 7 8 wrench to take this plug off the top where we dump the new oil in. Uh, only other thing to tell you. Old farmer trick, if one of these is leaking a little bit, and I don't know that this is a bad thing, if, if I bought a used brush hog and got it home and found this, I wouldn't be freaked out about it. But an old farmer trick, if, if it's leaking a little bit, if you got a seal down there, it's just seeping out oil, to drain the oil out and put in a flowable grease. The gear teeth on these cutters doesn't need much lubrication. And so a lot of times, uh, we saw this in the dealership, old farmers that are trading in their brush hogs that have got a leaky gearbox, which is horrendously expensive to replace, pump that full of grease, and uh, they still work and probably would work for a long time. And there are people that watch my channel that have told me, I pump that oil out, put grease in there, and then I'm done. 
And so uh, that, don't be surprised if you buy a used bush hog to find grease in the yearbook. So let's get that oil changed. One thing I might tell you is uh, getting there, there, it's kind of hard to get that hose position right so it goes to the bottom of the gearbox. I just keep moving it around because there's, there's an area in the bottom and I'm really struggling right now to get it, get it in there. But you'll feel the hose go all the way down. There it went. to get all the oil out. We're getting close. But if you drain, if you don't get all of it, it's going to be milky again. There it is. Getting close. And you won't, you won't get every drop of oil, but you'll get enough that it, you'll have good lubrication. Kind of right there. I'm getting close to the end. Well, after I got most of the oil out, I went in and got a beverage. And uh, I'm going to let the oil, if there's any oil left in that gearbox, go to the bottom. And then I'll do one last attempt at sucking it out. If I were really wanting to do it right, I'd probably take some oil and pour in there to mix with whatever's left in there and then suck that out. But as humid as we are in this area, this has happened this time, it's probably gonna happen again and no more lubrication than those gearboxes need. I'll probably be fine if there's just a little bit of uh, uh, oil left that's got some water in it. That's the bulk of it. The next thing I'm going to do is take the plug out of the side. And then it's time to dump, dump the new oil in. And I'll show you what I got out of there. Looks a little bit like baby vomit. One other tool I forgot to mention, a pair of tin snips to cut the top off of the uh, new oil. sure that doesn't go in the gearbox and here we go we're gonna fill it up till oil runs out right here see them tumbling down Drifting along with the tumbling tumbleweeds. Well, the good news is I took every bit of two quarts, which means I got all of the old out. I had to go get more oil. I've got just a little bit more oil here. I'm going to pour that in until it comes out the plug. And it should be just any minute now. There it is. Okay, we got nice looking oil coming out. It's full. All right, we're good. We can put our plug back in.
Then don't forget to put the top back on. And we're close to done. Got one more thing I want to do. Just so I'll remember. Because I'll never remember when I did this. I'm going to write with a paint pencil on the top. 6 of 22. June of 22. You know, one nice thing about having a YouTube channel, I can actually go back and watch my videos and see when I did maintenance. But that's going to remind me. Wipe everything off good and we're ready to go cut again. Thanks for watching.